This is Apocrypha. Hey, how's it going? And welcome back to the channel, Skyrim and the Dragonborn DLC. So we've just completed the Lost Knowledge quest and got the final word for the Cyclone Shout and the last black book, Untold Legends. And I'm guessing we all know the drill now, so uh, let's read the book and pop off to Apocrypha. I'm sure it isn't, Genesa. I'm sure it isn't. Okay, so here we are. Let's just crack on. Okay, this one's fairly straightforward. There's a few little places where it can get confusing. Uh, nom up some nice soul gems here. Nom 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 nom. Okay, straight on to the next book. I've hunted around for most of the search pods and stuff like that. Uh, I may have missed a couple somewhere, possibly, but uh, I don't think so. Anyway, hook a left here. And there's going to be a lurker just behind here. Take care where you shoot him, because if you get him in the wrong position, he will disappear over the edge. And they do have good loot from time to time. See, I got him there, so he fell on the walkway. Okay, what's this little chap got? Gold, nom nom, and I think we'll take that. Now, you can go right to book uh, three or left to book four. You don't have to do book three, but there is some interesting loot in it, so I'll, uh, I'll do that for you. You'll be attacked by a Seeker straight away. Let's zap them. Good night. And let's see what he's got. I think I've got all that, but hey. Oh, oh, I'll try that one. Okay, Nommy Soul Gem. Uh, another Conjure Seeker spell book. And, oh, that's not bad. Okay, so I think it's worth coming down here. Anyway, um, you don't have to. Read the book and that takes you back. So just run straight ahead down to book four. Like I said, if you don't want to do book three, you don't have to. Turn left and come straight to book four. Okay. Okay, now you're going to come across three seekers down here. Number one, good night. Oh, where are you? Oh, you little bugger. Oh, this one right there, I'll take him out first. Good night. Let's actually quickly raid this one before I forget where he is. Yeah, I'll definitely have those, I'll take him anyway. Where's the other one? Oh, you little shit. There you go. Okay, that's the three seekers taken care of. Hey, you can pick up some good spells and, uh, and stuff from these guys. So definitely worth doing. Oh. Mental burst. Nom nom. I don't think there's a pod in here. Oh, yes, there is. Here you go. Pod in here as well. And strangely, some of these pods have got li um, uh, locks in them, so they have to be picked, which is quite unusual. I might be wrong. I think this is the only one where that happens. I could be wrong on that, though. What we got? Chorus pie, the recipe. Yeah, that really wasn't worth it. Okay. What I'll do is I'll go back to where you would come. Okay, so you've just killed the three Seekers. And 
You got some loot in here. Nom nom nom. And he got some skill books and loot in here. Another pod with a lock on it. Nearly. Yeah, job done. And nom 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 nom. Nom. Lovely. So what we got? Marksman, I'm not really sure what that's all about. Anyway. Skill book. Pickpocket. And a nice armor one. That's the only one I, I gained out. I've obviously read all the others. Uh, but maybe you guys haven't. Okay. Right. Okay. So, to go progress further, hit this guy here. Come and hit this guy here. And hit this right here. And don't forget this uh, search pod. Again, with another lock in it. Oh, nearly. Oh, nearly. Yes. Okay. Da -da 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 -da. Okay. Okay, anyway. So, once you've done that, this opens these gates here. Sorry, that's right. And that opens that gate. Just double check, no, nothing in here. Okay, so, progress up. And search vessel. These are all these are all random loot, so you get stuff much better stuff than I'm getting. I hope you do anyway. Keep on just run all the way to the end. And what'll happen is the tunnel will start to move. So what it's doing is kind of taking you in a loop, so you're gonna follow it around, there'll be a lurker here. Take care of him. Oh, that's not bad. Okay, just go down here and turn the left. And hit that scry. And that brings you back out where you were. Now that's where you want to come back out from. So I go back down the main drag here and the tunnel will then move to the right. Another lurker. I didn't get a sneak attack this time. And he's a vindicator as well. He's a tough little bugger. Good night. Let's rob him. Nom nom. And hook a right. And hit the scry. Now you're back out on the main drag again. Turn right, run down here, and that'll bring you back to the book. And there you go. That's it, you found the Black Book Untold Legends. Now I strongly recommend you get this book as early on as you can as these powers are particularly useful for lower levels. So let's take a look at them. 
Black Market summons a Dramora merchant to trade with you. He can only be summoned using the Black Market power. When activated, he appears and offers a trade uh, much like a regular merchant would. He will buy any type of item except stolen items, and he sells armor and weapons based on the Dragonborn's level uh, at that moment. At higher levels, he's the only merchant in the game who will sell both Dragon and Daedric armor and weapons. Uh, he has 2,000 gold available for trading. Um, it's worth noting that the uh, merchant will refuse to do business if summoned while trespassing um, and also enemies will never target him. Secret Servant summons a Dramora Butler to carry your excess items. Um, when activated he appears and offers to carry any items for you, uh, much like any follower would. Uh, the butler is highly useful when uh, you are over encumbered and no vendor is uh, within reach. Um, you can also use them to effectively smuggle equipment into restricted uh, areas such as um, a cedar mine or the Thalma Embassy. Uh, his carrying weight is capped at 248. Bardic Knowledge summons a spectral drum that plays for you, increasing stamina for, uh, regeneration for you and nearby allies. Uh, it plays for 300 seconds, improving stamina regen um, by 50% uh, in a 250 foot radius. Could be useful for vampire characters due to their lack of stamina regeneration when in sunlight. So all in all, the Dramora Merchant and the Secret Servant could be particularly useful for early builds when you're accruing gold and items. So there you go, the Black Book Untold Legends done and dusted. I hope you enjoyed this video and found it useful and so we can finally say goodbye to Apocrypha. See you later guys. I hope you enjoyed this video, if you did please leave a like, leave a comment and please do subscribe. If you'd like to see more videos like this then push the bell next to the subscribe button after you subscribe obviously. Later.